TV3 New Day, uh, over a month uh, since the finance minister gave that indication that all NAPCO recruits or trainees would have to extend their training program for another year, after which they'll be uh, prepared to exit the program and start their own businesses or at least gain employment one way or the other. Now, remember that even before that, we had spoken to the CEO of the NAPCO Secretariat, Dr. Nyas Ibrahim, who had told us to expect uh, an announcement from government concerning the way forward for these NAPCO trainees. Now, in October, which was the end of the three-year program, the NAPCO recruits were told uh, to, of course, stay home and lay down their tools, basically, because the training had come to an end to make way for the new recruits. But even as at that time, they had not received their September salary, neither had they received their October salary. And so they cried foul and accused the government of lying to them after they were promised of permanent jobs uh, sometime before the December 2020 elections. Now, aside that, in fact, as all of them are old two months, as at the time that this announcement was made, those on the Hill Ghana module had not received their stipends for seven months. And so, if we add those months to these new months that we're asked to stay on, which is November, December, and now January, which hasn't ended, by the way, then that means that about five months' salary has not been received by these NACO trainees. Yet, they've been asked to stay on and offer their services. And so, they've been asking questions. Why have we not been paid? What is the problem? I remember government uh, communicated that they were planning to pay the Hill Ghana uh, recruits. Or in fact, they were planning to pay the two-month stipends, after which they will take care of the Hill Ghana uh, recruits who had not received their salaries for about seven months. We still didn't hear anything from them and now we have three of them in the studios to speak to us so Nana Techi is the PR of the coalition of NAPCO trainees hello Nana you're welcome thank you and also much. Nana Boating and uh, Fred Kwanza they are both Frank. NAPCO trainees thank you so much and happy new year thank I don't even know if I should say happy new year because I'm not sure it is exactly a happy <laughs> start <laughs> for <laughs> you exactly. yeah yes. you are not happy not at all Clearly because you have not been paid. <coughs> Nana Techi, maybe I'll start off with you. Right, right, First of you. all, coalition of NACO trainees. I mean, we've spoken to some NACO recruits, and they're saying that there's really no association or coalition. So they uh, might find this shocking. That, 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 that is a blatant lie. Uh, we have an association, and that is coalition of NACO trainees. Of which all Offici of them? Of mm -hmm. which all of us are under uh, its guardianship. Okay. But the fact is that it is not registered. Mm. Yes, it is not registered. So there are other NAPCO trainees who are too political and uh, they have made their own decision. They have uh, taken a decision that they are not going to join because we speak genuinely on matters mm. that is affecting the, the, the scheme. Mm -hmm. And so we have coalition mm. of NAPCO trainees. But if you say they are political, they also have not received their stipends, Exactly, have they? exactly. And the fact is that any time we, we speak genuinely on matters, mm. they are the same people that will come out to say that in fact, uh, the, the, the scheme is working to perfection mm. and they will create a, a lot of a sort, sort of impression yeah. that everything is well uh, with the scheme. And so I'm not surprised that last some session of trainees saying that we don't have uh, any association. Mm. Officially, we don't have a registered association, okay. but we have coalition of NAPCO trainees mm. and we have had a, a number of engagement with the media, if mm. you, you, you will call. Yeah. So we, that is it. Okay, so you are the PR for the National Coalition. Very so well. So you represent all of them, I basically. I speak for. Okay, right. what, what module are you on? Currently? Educate Ghana module. Educate Ghana. Yes, well. And what about you? You are Educate Frank. Ghana, best place. Okay, you're also on Educate Ghana. Yes, and what about you, Nana Kwanza? Yes, all three of you are on Educate yes, Ghana. Yes, please. As it stands now, how many months are you old? Um, factually, uh -huh. if we are to exclude uh the, the, the this uh, what is uh, J uh november okay november december and january we are all two months okay yes because when it's, when the scheme the the, the expiration of the scheme was due mm -hmm. we were owed two months yes and then we a letter an official communique was issued mm -hmm. by napco management mm -hmm. that we should retrograde back to our unemployed state yeah. that we were being asked to join talent pool yes so that when the modern implementation partners need our services mm -hmm. then uh, we, we will be engaged later on mm -hmm. we were being asked to go back to our, our corporate job fraud with uh, an official communique that was issued, mm -hmm. and the, the vice president name was even indicated in the letter. Okay, and so, this letter was sent to all of you individually? Yes, of On course. the platform? On, 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 yes. Yeah. Yes. The on portal. Our, on our the portal. portal. When was this issued? Uh, 10th. 
Uh, the, the, the 15th. Okay. This was issued 15th uh, November 2021. Yes. And the say? first one was issued on the 4th of October 2020. Mm. Uh, uh, that is 2021. That's when they asked you all to stay back on because Very well. Okay. Very well. And then the letter says, notice to all NAPCO trainees, following a high-level stakeholders meeting with the lead NAPCO module implementation partners, M MIPs, mm. led by His Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, and the Honorable Chief of Staff, all NAPCO trainees are required to remain at post. Mm -hmm. So the slogan here is, remain at post. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether we were asked to go back to our corporate job environment with an empty stomach. Because as, as, as at now, the condition of service mm -hmm. for the slogan, remain at post, has mm -hmm. not been spelled out. So we don't even know that we are entitled to the, the same 700 Ghana cities that we were due. But then the letter also states that you'll be paid. In line with the exit preparation after your three years on the scheme, mm -hmm. all NAPCO trainees will remain at post pending permanent arrangements. Mm -hmm. The NAPCO Secretariat expects trainees to continue to discharge their duties diligently mm -hmm. and professionally at their various workplace whilst the scheme and the MIPs work towards a smooth final transition. So nothing of that sort was indicated. Yeah, but I remember we spoke to some of the heads and they said that obviously if they say remain at post, then it also comes with the same payment that you are receiving prior to that letter that but, said you should... Yes, uh, legally, legally, yeah. the appointment letter that was issued to all of us in 2018 is now automated. Okay. Because in the appointment letter, the, the expiration date was stated emphatically. Mm. And so it is no more working. Mm -hmm. So if we are to remain at post, of which we did, we have been in the corporate job field, worked mm -hmm. assiduously, mm -hmm. worked remarkably, and as of now, even November, December uh, validation, payment validation has oh, not been commenced. Yeah, yeah. And so even <coughs> if they are to pay today, it means that they are going to, they are going to pay uh, two, two months. months. That is September and, and October. October. Yes. Meanwhile, we were, we were at okay. post. I understand. But let me just, so I, I remember when this letter came out, I spoke to Dr. Anyas Ibrahim because he was on the show earlier and had promised that he would apprise us with more. So I asked him if you would still receive the same uh, no. salary monthly. And he said, yes, still on their prior engagement arrangements. So that means that you are still going to receive that same amount of money, sure. by the way. So just to oh, put okay. that across, in case they didn't state it. I mean, I get you, they should have stated that in the letter, but very they well, didn't. But well. he said that that was going to happen. So two months down the line, and let me bring both of you in because you haven't spoken. Sure. You were also on Educate Ghana. Yes, please. How are you managing, even though they hadn't paid you uh, for those two months? Thank you, Bella. It's very difficult. Very, very difficult. We asked to get money for transportation, mm. money for, you know, other things. It's difficult. Yeah. It's we are going difficult. through a lot of challenges. Mm. Have you gone back to post? Yes, please. You have? You have been going to work. Okay, where do you work? Stomach. Where do you work? A uh, uh, Salvation Army. Okay. At Chan Time. Mm. Yeah. Where do you live? I live at La Paz, near Tabora. So on a daily basis, how much do you spend on transportation? Let me say four cities. Four cities, yes. in and out? Yes, please. No, yes, oh. please. In and out, four, four cities. Both. Okay. Yes, please. And you have to buy food as yes, well? Yes, please. And for those two months, you hadn't been paid. So between October and December, you were still working? Yes, please. Until the school went on yes, please. holidays. Yes, So please. how were you managing? Sometimes I have to call my parents to assist me. A big boy. As a wow. big a big man, like you have to ask, call for my parent mm -hmm. to assist me. Mm -hmm. It's not it's difficult, mommy. It's very, very difficult. It's very, very difficult. What about you, Nana Kwanza? Nana Boatin. Nana Boatin. Nana Boatin. Yeah. Sorry, that's Frank Kwanza. Pardon me. Yeah. Okay. Well, I say you, you wake up and at times the state of being, the state of mind to even to go to work. Mm. You ask yourself, what's happening to me? Mm. No money in your pocket, and you have to go to work. Mm. Where I am, I am saying. <coughs> Close to Ablikuma. Mm -hmm. I'm working at Awushi. I'm not going to see high school. Okay, so it's not too far. It's not it too is, far. But definitely you have to. Work I understand. Yes. Something. Mm -hmm. So you need money in your pocket. How much usually do you spend on transportation? In and out. Considering where I am, I need to pick a taxi from oh. there to the roadside. Three cities. Wow. So that would be in and, in and out to the six. six. From that place to Awushi, three cities. So in and out six. So 12 cities. 12 eight. cities a day. Yeah. But if you are being paid seven hundred, then that's not even adequate. Uh, it's, 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 the, the money itself is man, just managing it. Just yes, manage managing your money, life. So that at, at least one day you are assured that you are going to get a higher or mm. permanency with a higher payment. That to take care of yourself. So now it's just take the money, 
manage your life. I remember I spoke to a few of them and they said, well, if they've not been paid, they are not going back. But you but, went back. Yes. yes we well, uh, now. I, the, the, I went back. Tell me why. In, in the first place, for the love of the kids, the, the kids and yes. the, the work. Mm. You know, at times to even stay in a room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you're thinking, but when you go and you engage, engage your students, engage the environment, at least mm. you smile, mm. even put, boost your morale, come back home with mm. an empty stomach. Sure. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Okay. So, have you engaged government at all? Or, oh, yes, I mean, sir. anyone to ask why there has been a delay? I, 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 because I they said they were going to process Hugh Ghana, and after that, they'll process yes, everybody's yes. salary. Yes, I think I had an engagement with Dr. Ibrahim Mayas. Okay. Yeah, it, was, it was a WhatsApp conversation. I and see. I asked him about the uh, areas and that of the areas that have engulfed the scheme since mm -hmm. the inception of the program. And then he told me that they are working on it. The, the word that he used, I mean, the sentence was, uh, let's say, progressive verb. Mm. That uh, it, is, it is in process. Mm -hmm. okay. Very well. So um, the, 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 the fact is that it, it has not been easy. We, I, I remember he told me that we, we should pray. Uh, he has done what a CEO would do. Which so, is? Yes. Uh, submitting our data for the money to be released mm. to effect payment. So okay. uh, it made me... Uh, thought that maybe the problem is coming from the finance, finance ministry, ministry, that they have not released the money to mm. actually pay NAPCO trainees. Because if the CEO is saying that he has done what a CEO would do, and pray. that we should pray, uh, we, should, uh, we should remain resolute, the mm -hmm. data uh, yeah. has been submitted and all mm. that, then what is actually the problem? <laughs> work Did you at least try to get in touch with someone at the finance ministry? Not, not, exactly. not really. Not, okay. not, not exactly. Okay. So, no, so what happens now? Because a new month has started. You have yeah. to continue working when schools resume. Yes, the, the most uh, painful aspect is that some of the coordinators are not friendly. They don't have that sort of feelings of solidarity. Mm. Even if you decline to go to work a day, mm -hmm. if your care is not taken, you will be segregated from the program. You will, be validated. You will not be validated. And so that has created fear. These Even are though, what the... the Want to work with the secretariat? Uh, I'm talking yeah. of the, the, district the district level, district the, level. the district coordinators. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, some of them do not have some sort of feelings of solidarity, looking at the excruciating yeah. hardship that we are going through. Mm. And so if you decide not to go to work as a result of uh, financial constraint, yeah. you may be segregated. You Even be... if you explain to them that this is a problem? That is, that is, that is if point. you officially explain to them. But you also have your headmaster, you have your mm -hmm. supervisor. Mm -hmm. So it will be a, a long process to write an official letter to your coordinator. Sometimes mm -hmm. your coordinator will not even buy that idea mm. that finally the money would be paid and so yeah. you have to go to work. Mm. So that is that, that has created... A lot of fear in the beneficiaries that mm -hmm. they have to even resort to borrowing for them to be able to pay the transportation to go to work. Mm -hmm. and that is why we are calling on the government to to um, acknowledge our predicament mm -hmm. and then effect all payment that is due us. Have you tried reaching out to the National Labour Commission? And that is what we we, we 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 have decided to do. Okay from today. Mm. So probably by tomorrow, an official letter will be submitted to the Labour Commission mm. to explain uh, our germane sentiment and grievances sure and then to see how they can help us. Why didn't you do that earlier? Or uh, you were not aware? You see, you that lock has always been the best uh, uh, alternative mm. when it comes to NAPCO challenges. Yeah. Yes. And, I used to have an engagement with Dr. Ibrahim Ayaz via WhatsApp. And okay. Yes, yeah, so I, I have remained resolute mm. because I thought that even before the, the, the expiration date of the it, program was yeah. due, I felt that they will effect payment. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I spoke to my, my, my colleagues that at least we should just exercise infinite patience mm. and see the outcome. But I think it is too much that uh, necessary action will have to be taken to mm -hmm. see to it that uh, uh, we are being treated fairly okay. for now. Currently, I don't know if you have statistics, but do you know how many of you have returned to the scheme? Because there were some who said they weren't going to come back anyway, and they'd rather mm -hmm. start their own business or find out, you know, some employment somewhere. Do you have yeah. any statistics uh, to Honestly, I don't, I, I don't have don't. that, okay. that sure. statistics. I don't okay. have that prima facie evidence. But mm -hmm. I'm sure there are a number of beneficiaries who have... Uh, uh, 
with, we, have, we have gone back to the corporate job environment mm. because there was no any option. Mm. Yes, even if you want to establish business, where is the capital? Yeah. Sure. You understand? Mm -hmm. They introduced career pathway transition yes. process. And then some of us, somebody like me, I opted on the entrepreneurship approach. Well, I was expecting that I submitted my business proposal. Okay. And I was expecting that I will be called for mm -hmm. me for, for for them to groom us on how we will be able to utilize the capital that will be given to us to establish our own business. business and yes. uh, it, what happened to it? We what happened? Not, Tell me. We have not heard anything about the career pathway transition process. The accession of NAMCO trainees who subscribe to permanent employment and not sure. even at the public sector. Hmm. Permanent employment under the private sector. Yeah. And there are other sessions of NAPCO trainees to who selected local, and, uh, local government, entrepreneurship, and all that, who have the, the eagerness to mm -hmm. enter into their own business. Yeah. And we have not heard anything about that. Well, we've been told now that after the finance minister announced, he said there'll be some training for those of you who would continue with the yeah, scheme, and then you, they'll help you to gain access to capital if, and all of that. If, if mm -hmm. only that is not a political talk. Because you, you suspect it is? That, that, the reason why I'm saying this is that we have been in the corporate job for a number of years. Mm -hmm. Let's say four years now. Mm -hmm. Day in and day out, we witness recruitment being in session, going on in the corporate... In, the, in, the, in, the, in, in, in your the, module? Yes. yes. In, in my module, for instance, Ghana Education Service, mm -hmm. over the years, there have been a lot of recruitment. Okay. How many NAPCO trainees under the Ghana... Under the Educate Ghana model, were prioritized, were considered. None of us. None of you. Yes. No, You're right. saying that for a fact that none of you were prioritized. <laughs> no, there are, there are such of trainees who had the opportunity to be recruited permanently. Mm -hmm. And I would say on authority, confidently, that they resorted to their own connections and dealings. And it wasn't as a result of the NAPCO facility or a supervisor mm. or regional coordinator that recommended them to be recruited. So that 49,000 permanent employment number that was put out by government, uh, uh, I, it wasn't... I, 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 I don't <laughs> believe, doubts. even if you ask Dr. Ibrahim, I asked my own boss to prove it, to come out with prima facie evidence with respect to that figure, it would be very oh, difficult. Oh, but he was here. We asked him about But it. he didn't provide any tangible you know, evidence mm. that these... Uh, the total number of people who have gained permanent employment. The finance minister, the budget that was just right, read, yeah. he indicated that 33,000 beneficiaries have gained permanent employment. Dr. Ibrahim Ayans also said 49,000. The president also said 49,000. 49, so 49. between between the finance minister and that of the Dr. Ibrahim Ayans, who is the CEO of the program, who is speaking the truth. And so clearly, Conspicuously, they don't have prima facie evidence when it comes to the number of people who have been who have been permanently employed. We believe we cannot undermine the the significant impact on the on the, of the NAPCO yeah. scheme. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. the fact is that the truth must be told. Mm. We are going through excruciating hardship. We were asked to go home. Later on, an official communique was released that we should go back to corporate job field. Mm -hmm. Our monies were not paid. Some of us, we had to uh, uh, convey our belongings to, to our homes. The later one, we also have to uh, 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 convey the same materials mm. to our corporate job field because we were being asked to go back. Mm. Where are the monies? Okay. Where is our money? Okay. How, do we, how do we take care of all I these things? Yes. Okay. Mm. So, so let me, okay, we'll have to go shortly, but let me ask you because... We have been told by a government official, the Upper East Regional Coordinator of NAPCO, he said that the trainees were going to receive their September-December allowance this year. Okay, and so he said expect it this year. I'm not sure when exactly. Mm -hmm. But what happens if this month ends and you still haven't received? Are you going to continue? No, no, but it's a big question, uh, Bella. But for me, I have decided that if that, it doesn't come, I'm not going to work any longer. At least I should find something to do. There are mm -hmm. alternative jobs out there that mm. at least can fetch money. Mm. Going to work without payment, mm -hmm. what, where do you end? You go through a hardship. There are a lot of jobs out, out there. For me, I, for instance, if this month ends and they don't see any payment, I'm out. You're Seriously, out. Seriously, yeah. Frank, out. what about you? I mean, we've just started a new but, year. There was this back and <clears throat> forth over, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the, the budget statements. You know, we're told that some approval had been given for some amount of money at least to make payments. Sure. You don't think that government is working as seriously to ensure that you receive your I'm money? I'm not sure. If government doesn't pay, you have to go for demonstration. Will that solve the, 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 the issue? Yeah. 
man. That, that, is, that, that is the problem. Yeah. We are going through hardship. Mm. Either we exit or we demonstrate against the government. That's what the, what do you think is the right thing to do at this point if you don't receive your money by the end of this month? Uh, to my opinion, you, have, you will go for demonstration. Okay. But yeah. At least there should be a communicate. They should speak to us that we should exercise some patience or they are going to give us our areas or the permanency. It's two. The money is not coming. We need the money. But at the same time, there should be some assurance for the permanent. We need well. permanent jobs. That we need, need, we need okay. the permanent jobs. Okay. Governments should employ that permanently. Okay. But they haven't communicated. So when was the last time they officially communicated uh, to that you? That was yeah. November 15th. November 15th. So the whole of December, you didn't hear yes, anything from them, even though you were agitating not about your all. unpaid allowances. Yes. Wow. We're not, we're not, we've not heard from okay. them. Okay. Piero, are you going to go on a demonstration if you don't hear anything? Uh, actually, I, 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 I do support demonstration in some way because it is a legal means in demanding for what you are due. But the question is, do trainees show up? You understand? You don't believe in your own people. Uh, that not that, that I don't believe. There are, there, are, there are some session of trainees that I know that they they understand mm. our predicament. They feel what we are going through. You understand? Mm. That is why I always encourage NAPCO beneficiaries to put their political spectacles aside mm. so that we fight for our future. We are talking of our future here. Mm. The MPs in parliament are aware of this, uh, our challenges. Many of them have been speaking on our behalf. If okay. not the media fraternity who do add their voice to our plea for permanent job and uh, our mechanization, mm. they have not been doing that. So clearly, they don't think of us. Mm. So we, I think we have to come together under one umbrella and then fight for <coughs> what we are due. Yeah, due. As, okay. as, as, as at now, even if they are to pay, meaning we are going to receive two, two months. months mm. When are they going to commence the validation process for November December yeah. and well, that we'll of find January. out from them what exactly the process is. But thank you so much for speaking to us this Very morning. Well, thank you, and yes, the reason we so talk much. about these issues is because we also want government to listen to our plight and uh, to do something about it. These young people cannot keep going on and working without receiving their stipends. It's been five months at least for majority of them. And for those who were owed seven months already before October, November, December, January, you can just imagine what they're going through. Some have borrowed money that they need to pay back and they keep hiding from their debtors. So please do something about it. Thank you very much. Thank Nana Techi is a PRO coalition of NAPCO trainees. Nana Boating is a NAPCO trainee and so is Fred Kwansa. This is TV3 New Day. We'll try and reach out to the authorities and get a word from them as well. Thank you.